The Bloomore Sector Plan Natural Area Screening was completed in April 2022, and this presentation will highlight the key findings, recommendations, and future studies. The following topics will be covered in the presentation. First, we will review what a natural area screening is and its purpose, followed by a map of the Blairmore study area, important features within the sector, what was studied, the key findings, recommendations, and finally, future studies. A natural area screening is a study that is used to develop a better understanding of the natural, cultural, and historical assets that are present within an area scheduled for development. A screening is required for all sector plans. Topics of study include soils, habitat classification, vegetation, wildlife, and heritage and cultural sites. A screening for a sector plan is a desktop study typically completed via analysis of air photo or satellite imagery and using published information. The screening is completed by a qualified third-party consultant and provides recommendations for land management and further studies. The Blairmore Sector Plan Natural Area Screening was completed by EDI Environmental Dynamics Incorporated. Blairmore screening study area is on the west side of Saskatoon and is outlined in yellow. The study area encompasses almost 3,000 hectares and includes several existing developments. Large natural areas found within the study area include the Richard St. Barbie Baker Afforestation Area, George Jenneru Urban Regional Park, and the West Swale Wetland complex, complex that extends through the central portion of the study area. Important features within the Blairmore sector include the Richard St. Barbie Baker Afforestation Area, George Jenneru Afforestation Area, the West Swale, and several wetland complexes. Additional field studies were conducted within the two afforestation areas to collect more detailed information on habitat, vegetation, and wildlife. The screening involved a desktop study of soils, habitat, vegetation, wildlife, and heritage and cultural features. Key findings included the identification of 14 areas of potential environmental concern with possible contaminants. Habitat across the study area was mainly made up of cultivated and disturbed or developed land with some wetlands and woodlands. And vegetation included over 100 different species, including two species, of management concern, red elderberry and small yellow lady slipper. Weeds and invasive species such as European buckthorn were a concern in some areas. Key findings for wildlife included documenting over 90 species of birds, 52 invertebrates and eight mammal species that have historically used the area. Interestingly, one of the remote wildlife cameras spread across the portions of the sector captured an image of a black bear moving through the area. Field studies in Richard St. Barbie Baker documented two species of management concern, horn grebe and common nighthawk, and an active red-tailed hawk nest was observed in the George Genero Afforestation area. Lastly, there are no known archaeological sites within the study area but several quarter sections have the potential for archaeological sites, which will need to be investigated further. Recommendations included the following. Focus conservation and enhancement planning on the two afforestation areas, the West Swale and associated wetland complexes. Minimize wetland habitat degradation and loss by minimizing construction of stormwater structures within the West Swale and other wetland complexes. Conserve and enhance the ecological function of existing forest communities in the afforestation areas through control of weeds and invasive species. Create a buffer around the wetland area within the Richard St. Barbie Baker afforestation area to prevent further degradation of the riparian area 
and wetland margins. Additional recommendations included enhance the recreational potential of the afforestation areas, including prohibition of motorized vehicles, including dirt bikes, and restricting vehicle access, improve park space and infrastructure, and engagement and collaboration with stakeholders during planning and implementation of enhancement activities. Future studies included groundwater investigation, update updated wetland functional assessments, wildlife surveys focused on the West Swale and wetland complexes, wildlife corridor assessment, and investigate potential soil contamination areas and archeological sites. The desktop screening identified several important natural areas within the sector and more detailed field studies of these natural areas will take place during the concept plan stage and prior to development. Thank you for listening.